This episode is sponsored in part by Lucky Duck Games. Their pledge manager is still open for Chronicles of Crime Millennium. Thank you for joining me today at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Today we'll be looking at board games launching the first half of June 2020 on Kickstarter. And it looks like Kickstarter is back in business. There are lots of Kickstarters coming soon. And one of them is Tantrum House. We are launching our Kickstarter campaign for Season 7. So check that out. It's launching May 26th. And if you're watching this on the day that this video launches, that's tomorrow. Let's get started. Oh, and one more thing. I have some giveaways on this video too, so check back at the end of the video. And uh, we will give some of those games away and some other things, some cool prizes. I look forward to seeing you at the end of the video. Let's get started right now. On May 28th, Awakened Realms launches Nemesis Lockdown. This is a game for one to five players. It takes about an hour and a half to three hours to play. Now, if you're familiar with the original Nemesis, it still has that same semi-co-op experience. Uh, this one adds uh, a secret base on Mars. There is uh, this multi-level base with stairs and elevators. There's an advanced computer, some computer actions, and some other really cool things that you can check out for Nemesis Lockdown. On June 1st, Mr. B Games launches an expansion to Hellenica, Leaders, and Legends. These next few launch on June 2nd. Pencil First Games launches The What Not Cabinet. This is a game for one to four players. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play. It has set collection and tile placement in it. You're trying to collect tiny objects and score the most points for your What Not Cabinet. Elf Creek Games launches Merchants of the Dark Road, a game for one to four players. It takes about an hour to two hours to play. You are one of the brave merchants that travel the dangerous paths between cities. While well, the job is perilous, fame and fortune await. It has a rondelle and worker placement with dice. Inside Up Games launches City Builder Ancient World, a game for one to four players. It takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. This is a tile laying game, and it has competitive mode and co-op mode and a solo mode. Uh, players are magistrates sent to a newly conquered province to build cities and help spread Roman influence. I was able to actually uh, play a few rounds of both the competitive mode and the co-op mode over a table, I think it was Tabletopia, uh, with uh, the publisher. It's a pretty cool tile laying game, and I like both of them. I think I might like the co-op mode maybe a little bit more, but they're both really good. Kazudu Games launches Salt and Sail, a game of discovery during the Age of Sail. You're making discoveries as you fend off pirates and navigate through storms, exploration, and adventure for two to five players. All Aboard Games launches 1822, The Railways of Great Britain. Analog Game Studios launches Latte Throwdown, a game for two to four players. It takes about 15 to 25 minutes to play. It's a dice pool, dice rolling placement game. You're a barista competing in a latte art throwdown competition. Fundamental Games launches Die in the Dungeon, a game for one to two players. It takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. You're trying to defeat the heroes that are in the dungeon. These next few launch on June 9th. Rock Manor Games launches Maximum Apocalypse RPG. This is an immersive tabletop role-playing experience based on the post-apocalyptic board game series Maximum Apocalypse. Light and Games launches Dementals. I think I mentioned this game in my last video or the video before, but they had postponed it to now. This is a two-player game that takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. It's an expandable card game. And Weird City Games launches Canopy, a game for two players, takes about 30 minutes to play. You're competing to grow the most bountiful rainforest. Players are taking turns selecting new cards from their forest from three different growth piles, searching for plants and animals that are going to benefit your forest the most. 
On June 9th, we'll see an expansion to Fire Tower. This is a competitive forest fire game. On June 11th, we'll see Trinidad, a game for two to five players. It takes about an hour and a half to, um, looks like 150 minutes to play. Players represent the heads of the Spanish families in Buenos Aires. It has a worker placement mechanic, but the workers actually have multiple functions and can be used in several different ways. Arcus Games launches Shelfie Stacker on June 12th, a game for one to four players. It takes about 20 to 40 minutes to play. Players compete to accumulate the most illustrious board game collection by carefully filling their shelf with the most recent purchases. On June 12th, we'll see Core Clash, a game for two to four players that takes about one to two hours to play. This is a dice strategy team skirmish tabletop game. It has uh, robot miniatures with three types of custom dice. Players are using the dice to allocate energy to power the legacies and activate their attack which is unique to each legacy. There are also buildings and mountains in every set. Legacies can destroy the buildings while mountains can damage the legacies. To win a round, you need to destroy all of your enemies, achieving victory through attrition. On June 14th, Subsurface Games launches with a smile and a gun. A game for two players takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play. This is a dice drafting area majority game. Every round, 13 dice will be rolled into a pool Players are going to draft dice, one for their movement around the city, and will place influence, and one for an action. Peterson Games launches a Dinosaur 1944 on June 15th. Can you kill a Megalodon shark with a submachine gun? What happens when you pit a Tinosaur Rex against a rocket launcher? So I mentioned there's going to be some giveaways. The first one is actually just a teaser for the first giveaway from Awaken Realms. Like I said, they have a Kickstarter for Nemesis Lockdown that is launching May 28th, and they are going to be giving away a copy of the core game to Tainted Grail on our channel, and I will give you more information about that in my next video, and you can be entered for a chance to win that in my next video, but I wanted to give you a heads up that my, the next giveaway is going to be for that. Check out Nemesis Lockdown, May 28th. Make sure you're back because that's going to be important for the giveaway. And I have another giveaway that I'll talk about in just a second. Tantrum House will be doing some videos from the list from the video. We will be doing What Not Cabinet, Merchants of the Dark Road. We'll be doing Canopy. Uh, that uh, looked pretty cool. I love me some Vincent Detroit art. So check those out and lots of other videos, and once again, we would love your support on our Kickstarter campaign for Tantrum House Season 7 so we can put out a whole lot more videos uh, this year. Man, we have some pretty cool plans in place, a lot more live videos we would like to do, and we would love for you to join us for our 12-hour gaming marathon that we'll be doing this Friday May, ooh, I think that's May 28th, 29th. Let me just double check that. May 29th. That's going to be for 12 hours on May 29th. We're going to start at 12 noon Eastern time and go for 12 hours till midnight Eastern time. So if you can join us and say hi on our YouTube channel here, we'll be live for that whole time playing lots of games and uh, sharing some stuff from our for our Kickstarter campaign. Well, thank you for joining me and oh, Another Kickstarter or another giveaway, and that has to do with our final sponsor, Meeple Realty. Meeple Realty has some new products in their store that you can check out at MeepleRealty.com. A new one that's coming soon is an insert for underwater cities, but the giveaway is for some control markers for War Chest, and you can enter for a chance to win a cop or those control markers for War Chest by also commenting in the in this video. You can enter by telling me what game that you think should have an insert and I would love to hear your feedback on that. 